What is up, ladies and gentlemen? How's it going? This is Matt DiTomato right here. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. Welcome back to our prison architect here. We're playing with the female prison. Uh, things are going excellent. We've set up our contraband trap uh, over this way, which is really, really funny, actually. Um, uh, actually uh, finding the, uh, the informant stuff and the intelligence really, really hilarious. It is good. Um... And uh, yeah, so we're, we're busy setting up Death Row over here at this point in time. Uh, chances are we're these guys are probably going to catch the uh, this area over here. I doubt we're going to be able to uh, keep a constant eye on it. Although I wonder where these two are heading at this point in time. <laughs> oh no, they're going up there. Uh, you, on the other hand, no. Oh, it's really funny. It's really funny to watch. Okay, right. Anyway, let's set up the uh, let's set up the death row stuff over here. So we got two cells uh, over this way, where the uh, the death row prisoners are going to be. Uh, so shower head in there, uh, toilet there, uh, sink and mirror. Sure, why not? Um, right, we want a sofa, uh, a bookshelf, because they're basically going to be uh, confined to their cells pretty much, so um, prayer mat, they, they, they don't go out of their cells at all other than to go into the parole hearing, so um, that's just going to be it really. Uh, right, so... Weights bench, I think would be quite a good idea. Um, and a TV. So for death row, they actually get quite a lot. But um, obviously, yeah, we'll... Uh... Oh, we'll also go with the, uh, whilst I remember, the pillow. There we go. Excellent. Right. Um, actually, one thing we did not do was assign five jobs in there. And also, we should probably deploy a guard... Uh, and also, um, we should probably go with a, uh, metal detector as well. Um, where would be the best place? To be honest, right inside would probably be the best place, to be fair. Um, yeah, just run that in there like that. Okay, how are we doing? we still got four bars there, that's okay. Uh, right, utilities, let's grab the water, uh, right, we'll come around here for this, there we go, uh, small pipes, just in there, death row, very, very rarely, well, to, to be honest, death row don't really dig out, um, because they never have access to tools, so they, they don't dig out, so it doesn't matter, uh, that, uh, the pipe works for, for the death row area. Um, we'll just go with a regular door there as well. That'll be fine. Uh, we'll go with a visitor table there. Uh, excellent. And, um, so rooms, execution there. And all we need here, really, all we really need is the electric chair, but we will also go with, um, wide sofas because you get people who watch uh, you get witnesses so by having the sofas they can sit there and they can witness that i would never ever want to witness that jesus christ that'd be absolutely awful to to witness something like that okay um i suppose we'll go with a window as well because at the end of the day they're on death row so uh they get certain things. Okay, yeah, they committed horrors, but uh, they can't do anything else when they're here. So we'll uh, we'll give them as much as we can. Um, jail door there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, if we go rooms, cells, we'll assign those two to be cells, but we need to do deployment for death row only in there, essentially. And then we need to get a parole room. Where is the parole room? There is the parole room. There we go. Uh, and of course, that's assigned death row only because that's where the death row appeal will take place. So that is that pretty much sorted. Um, uh, 
now let's go with a double staff door here uh, that will ensure I can deploy this as staff only which therefore means that they, they can't get out here basically there's nothing they can do um, we need a door server servo sorry there oh I didn't quite hook that up okay good Okay, we're ready for death row. So uh, we'll obviously keep an eye up here for the uh, intake of death row prisoner because they're very, very rare, to be honest. You don't get that many of them. Uh, so yeah, we will obviously do that. And of course, if they uh, if they pass their appeal, they will, of course, end up as max sec. So they will go over here. The thing is, we've already got three max sec prisoners over this way. Um, so it might be tempting, actually, to build a block here that actually is a bit more shared. And so actually, MaxSec prisoners will be able to use it. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll build an area specifically for MaxSec. We might even go just like 10 cells. Might go with 10 cells that are exclusively MaxSec. Like, we won't intake MaxSec prisoners. But we'll go. We'll have some cells that are readily available for MaxSec prisoners. I think that's what we'll do. We'll obviously we'll have a block here essentially just for MaxSec prisoners. So all we'll do, I think all we'll literally do is this. So we'll do, um, yeah, we'll just have. Like it might even be eight, but yeah, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. That's all we'll do. Uh, oops. Yeah, we'll just have a block here for max sec prisoners. That'll be fine. Uh, right, we have an intake over here. Uh, okay, just quick. We might need to activate the confidential informant again at some point. We've got a bunch of prisoners here who have no idea what's up with them. So, uh, yeah, so let's do that then. Um, just a simple, uh, simple area here where basically we have capacity to take maximum security prisoners. We'll set a uh, a bit more of a regime for them, however. Like we'll do, we'll do work lockup instead of work free time. Although to be fair, the thing is, these lot have been in free time, and they've been quite okay. Maybe we'll just set a different regime for them. But I don't know. They're quite happy because they're doing some of the programs. They're, like one of them was doing the foundation education and whatnot. So, yeah, and where it's work free time at this point in time, they can go out and they're, they're, they're doing all right. Probably because there aren't many of them. That's why. If we get too many, if we get lots of them and we get lots of trouble, then that's going to be another matter entirely. Right. I'm going to hire three gardeners to help out the gardener that we've already got, mostly because a lot of this outside space is getting very overgrown. Um, so yeah, we will definitely do that. Uh, lock that open for now. We no longer need to lock that open. And hopefully we just get a death row prisoner at some point. Cool. That was built in lightning quick time. Excellent. Cheers, folks. Right, okay. Uh, this conga line of uh, workmen here. You need to be searched. Uh, you need to be searched. Ah, <laughs> Uh, deployment staff only, so that way you can't get in there. Uh, yeah, those two both picked up phones, so they're both stuffed. Good luck with getting away with that. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, okay. Um, more phones being found, actually. We could do with probably doing a shakedown at some point here, to be fair. It is work-free time. You know what? We haven't done one in a while. Yeah. There we go. Get ourselves a shakedown. Mm. 
we will need to install more metal detectors and things around here. So, yeah. Without doubt, we're going to need to do that. Uh, right, utilities. Uh, just putting that straight. Uh, hang on a minute. I'm actually doing fairly okay down there. Um, yeah, I think I will power this section here with... Uh, the first power station but ultimately it's going to be okay so um pipe job will bring somewhat further into here that's going to be okay it's still going to be quite difficult to tunnel out of there but it's a bit easier than what it otherwise would be okay mostly cell phones to be pretty honest uh, are what we're finding here Okay, a couple of lights in there. That should be fine. Right. Uh, so, we essentially want to clone these sets of cells here. That's what we want to do. There. And there. Uh, we also need to make that into a proper wall. Okay. Simple. Good. Okay. Uh, and we'll deploy an armed guard in there. So we'll get a couple more armed guards in a minute. And uh, we'll deploy a second one in there. Um, at the moment we've just got the one patrolling around here of course. Uh, we'll get the second one in here and we'll take two more. And they can just replace each other as they go along. That's pretty much it, really. Um, good, 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 good. Okay, we've got dogs in all of the cell blocks here. Three guards and a dog, with the exception of this one's got two guards because it's only small. So that's okay. I don't mind that. Not bothered by that. That's okay. More drops over here. It's really funny. Uh, that's a needle drop. That's interesting. That's not even a phone. Very interesting. Okay. It is what it is. Uh, how is the... I haven't even been watching how on earth the carpentry thing's been going. Um, there is wood here, though. I don't know whether anybody's actually doing the carpentry. Uh, yeah, there's still three people doing the, the program. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. This is really crowded in here. I might end up changing the regime a little bit for the max sec, but probably not. I think we'll be okay here, to be honest. Just plodding on with what we've got. Okay. Uh, what's happening here? Tased. Uh, you're volatile and tough, so you obviously just decided you were going to, uh, you know what, look at me. <laughs> nah, actually, that's not how it works. And, uh, yeah, you got yourself tased. Well done. Good. <laughs> okay, sitting, yeah, not actually watching TV, but they are sitting there. Uh. No. That has just been arranged, and I know who that was arranged by. That was arranged by her. She literally just arranged that drop because she'd just been on the phone in there. Uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, ultimately, we could just barricade this off, though, here, because and then they're never going to get there because we, we're just going to build some stuff here. So, um, yeah, that's, that's basically the end of that. So I'm going to build another parole room here. Uh, I'm going to build another infirmary. Um... And we'll probably also maybe try and squeeze uh, to be here to be here actually in this corner might put another chapel in there because uh, that's miles away. So we'll put another chapel in there. We might not run spiritual guidance at this particular chapel, but we'll have it there so that prisoners can get to it. So I was thinking parole, infirmary, and then maybe another classroom in this bit here. A chapel in there. Um. Maybe put something in this corner? I highly doubt it, though. Um, 
Maybe a shop, actually. We could put a shop down there. And then... Um, just uh, just have like another a cell block here, just another few cells in there. Would probably be the way to go. Uh, water, small pipe. Okay. Um, we could just do this, you know. And then just have a couple of connections so that it's not too far. That's kind of cheaty, but at the same time, it just makes sense. <laughs> It just makes sense. Oh, boy. Okay, right. Okay, another guard taser certification. Fantastic. Off they go. Um, three medium security prisoners coming in. How many cells do we have available? Lots. Three, four, five, six, seven. Take seven new prisoners. Like, for God's sake, prison cells not being filled up properly. So yeah, take seven new ones. We still have... We actually have two free family cells here, so we're okay for that. Plenty of coverage there. Um, family cells don't count towards room quality, but actually, yeah, some of these are very good. Uh, why is this one... Oh yeah, this, I was going to say, yeah. Occupants entitled to grade 10. Oh, it's the second number. Of course it is. Uh, this is 6. Why? What is the difference between this one and this one? Oh, the chair. No. What's the difference between that one and that one? Nothing. Uh, no, no, I thought it was that. No, no. I do not see any difference between this cell compared to that one. Oh! Oh, I do. I see a big difference. There's no bloody shower heads in these ones. What the hell? <laughs> I've completely forgotten to build shower heads in half of these cells. How did that happen? That's clever. How long has it taken me to realise that? Jesus. Ah, uh, there's also... Um, yeah, I forgot. We built the, uh, the sinks in here. Run those out there like that. Um... I was potentially going to grab Vanessa there, but not Vanessa. Victoria. I think we've waited just a bit too long, which is slightly annoying. How are we doing on the uh, general education course, by the way? Oh, no one, no one's actually completed it yet. It takes a while. Uh, it's a long course. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's, um, I'm just seeing because obviously it said we haven't actually had anybody pass it yet. So I was a little bit concerned. Uh, right, so, walls and doors, let's go for the red jail door here. There we go. Obviously, we've still got pipe work to put in there, so, uh, oh, we also need to do the, um, door servo, there. Cool, 15 prisoners up for parole, bloody hell. Uh, yeah. One death row incoming. One death row prisoner is on the way. Brilliant. Okay, quick and skilled fighter. Okay. Oh, yeah. Death row prisoners inbound. Brilliant stuff. Okay, the pipe work is all being finished over here as well. That's great. Good. No one's claimed these phones yet. Oh, someone's arranged. Oh, someone did pick up the needle. Somebody got somebody got away with that. Lucky. Okay. Slightly annoying, actually. Not gonna lie. Okay, fantastic. Right. So, uh, these new prisoners should all be able to go into their respective cells because there was some trouble there, of course, where we uh, cells were being allocated, not being allocated as free. 
cool. Okay, right. Bum, 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 bum. Looking forward to this. Right. Um... <laughs> you have just picked up some drugs. <laughs> Sorry, love. You were caught. Oh, look at this. Right in front of the guard as well. Hannah, you ridiculous. <laughs> oh, boy. It's fantastic. Right. <laughs> Come on, Rocky. Go deal with that. Uh, I'm fairly sure as well that you just picked something up. Because there was another phone here, and I'm fairly sure that Haley has just picked that up. <laughs> oh, we're taking her around that way. Look at that. How close to freedom is she? <laughs> she did not pick anything up. Oh. Wow, that's quite amazing. I'm very surprised by that. Okay, right. So, um, we want rooms. cells and we need to deploy as maximum security only so obviously our max sec prisoners who are over here in this uh holding cell are now going to be placed in this area here so we need to deploy a guard an arm guard actually we'll go two guards and an arm guard um we'll then pick up the two extra arm guards here so they're basically ready to replace as and when. So uh, yes, we will uh, we'll make sure that uh, we have armed guards in here. But here we go. So the uh, the Maxsec prisoners now have their cells. Um, of course, we're not going to bring in Maxsec prisoners as such. We're literally just going to basically have this available as an overflow for Maxsec prisoners if any uh, any trouble happens, essentially, or if death row prisoners get their appeals uh, sorted as well. That's another uh, another reason why we could uh, we can do that there. So uh, excellent, right? So we've got three Maxsec prisoners. Um, So you're currently there. Ah, you're over this way. Okay, I wonder where you've gone. Okay, that's good. And I'm not going to change the regime. I'm not going to change the regime for them. They can do work free time in the same way that... Uh, yeah, they, they can do the same thing. That's fine. If they're happy doing it, then I've not got a problem. Uh, equally, if they stay happy, it means they're not going to cause trouble. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for them to... Uh, yeah, you're stoical, so you don't get suppressed by armed guards. Um, so that's okay. Uh, right, uh, let's build ourselves... I'm going to run eight paroles a day, you know. Uh, we're going to clone... This. I'm going to chuck it there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to clone that. We're going to run eight paroles a day. I'll build another CCTV in there as well. That'll be helpful. And we'll deploy another couple of guards. Uh, is this helpful, this path? I'm not so sure. I don't know if that's helpful or not. I think so. You know what? I will keep it. I'll keep it. It'll be fine. Uh, I'll keep that path. I'm not. Uh, that'll be okay. Where the hell are you going? Oh, they've been released. Okay, fair enough. Um, I was going to open the door, but there you go. Okay, awesome. They are out of here. Well done. Six grand in the bank there. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, that's brilliant. <laughs> drill. You were Nick. <laughs> you called Nick in the drill there. Right, so here's the here's the issue. Um, obviously, two medium security prisoners have just been released. It's really annoying, and it's not taking them in.
There we go. We just have to modify it every now and again. That's all we can do. Uh, right, so... Might as well unallocate those first before we do that. Um... And we'll also get the chapel built here. I think what we'll do is we'll actually have the shop through the chapel so then you can't drop any contraband on this side. Oh, gee. I wonder where you're going. <laughs> you actually might have got away with that, you know. That might have been a pickup. Oh, you got a drill. Oh, I just spotted that. Yeah, you've managed to pick up a drill. That's what you went to get. You did get something. Yep. Okay. Hey. <laughs> it was a bit too, like, eh, you might have been arranging it. But, uh, no, you actually, uh, yeah, you did pick up a drill. Um, okay. <laughs> Cool. So we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do uh, the chapel here and we'll build a shop in the corner down here. Now, I'm assuming it's four by four. Yes, we can build, we can build a shop in that corner. That's great. Okay, so we will definitely do that. We'll build it through the chapel, though, uh, which is a little bit weird. But um, the, the advantage to it, of course, is that um, it means that contraband can't be thrown over the fence uh, to, to get through there. So that's perfect. Right. Uh, that's it for now. Then, cheers for watching, guys. This has been myself, Matthew Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series. Join me next time for more Prison Architect and our playthrough with the female security prison. See you later.